So there are two kinds of hepatitis C, generally speaking, acute hepatitis C and chronic hepatitis C. Acute hepatitis C is the early form of the infection that people acquire, and it's often the best time to treat someone. Now, unfortunately, most people with acute hepatitis C, because the symptoms are so general, don't realize they have acute hepatitis C. And after about six months, acute, which usually means new infection, uh, or a new sort of illness, becomes chronic hepatitis C. One big difference between acute hepatitis C and chronic hepatitis C is the timing after you get infected. For acute hepatitis C, we generally think it's within the first six months. If you get infected and you fight the virus off, you've had acute hepatitis C, it won't become chronic hepatitis C. After six months, all the way through maybe even up to 30 years, it's considered chronic hepatitis C. One other big difference is that with acute hepatitis C, you don't necessarily have long-term damage to your liver if, again, you, you fight it off or you get treatment. With chronic hepatitis C, the damage starts at that point, usually after about six months. First, the tissue becomes inflamed and some of the cells stop working. After a certain amount of time, the liver can get scarred and big amounts of the tissue can stop working. Over time, the whole liver can stop working and this can cause all kinds of complications leading to death even. Chronic hepatitis can also cause liver cancer, called hepatocellular cancer. So there's lots of bad complications that can occur with untreated chronic hepatitis C. Fortunately, if you have hepatitis C, we have very effective medications, and within eight to 12 weeks, we can cure you of your hepatitis C. So I let my patients know if they have hepatitis C that they should remain very optimistic because we can cure this quickly. <laughs>